What key aspect of storytelling do you need to include so that the audience feels as if they've gotten a payoff? In other words, they've gotten benefit. Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. To this point, you've heard about the first three of seven C's to sensational storytelling. You've heard about compelling characters in relatable circumstances who face conflicts as they pursue their objective. The fourth C is where the audience gets the payoff. This is the lesson learned. Sometimes this is called the cure or the climax. I will interchange those two. This is an important aspect of your story because this is the, the, the benefit that the audience wants to gain, the lesson, so that they can improve their lives. In my continual story of my client, Patty, what she learned is that public speaking is like any other skill. It's learnable. There are processes, there are different tools you can use to create messages that are clear and concise and they can be delivered in a dynamic style. That's the payoff. One critical aspect of the cure or the climax scene that most people violate is that the guru and the hero cannot be the same person. Why shouldn't the guru and the hero be the same person? Because it makes you look and feel special to the audience and they can't relate to that. If you stand in front of a group of people and make it look like you have all the answers in the world, they may admire your accomplishments, but they're not going to like you. They're not going to respect you, and they may not believe you. I'm sure you've seen a speaker who stands up and talks about the great life he's had and how he has accomplished this financially, and he's had a great career and a beautiful wife and family. Do you really like those kinds of stories? Probably not. Do you know why? Because it doesn't seem real. What makes a speaker compelling and likable is the willingness to share their struggles, their strifes, their setbacks before they talk about their successes. In a business story, it's perfectly fine for you to be the guru. In fact, you want to be. The, the audiences that you're talking to want the same result that your customer or client got in that story. It just so happens you're the one who provided the solution to the problem. When I talk about Patty, I'm the one who provided her with the tools and the techniques and the strategies to become a better speaker. Now that you have the fourth C to sensational storytelling, it's time for you to pick up the fifth C. This is one of the most overlooked and underused aspects which can make all the difference in the world and push your audience over the edge to buying into what you're selling. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.